Well guys, our final trailer for Morbius is here just as Sony and Marvel promised, released this morning, and uh, it's honestly kind of disappointing. Like, it's the big final trailer and doesn't really show us like anything new at, at all. Pretty much everything in here we saw in previous trailers. There's literally no big reveals or anything, which to be fair, the movie's first trailer did come out like three years ago at this point. And, uh, you know, I think this is the third or fourth trailer. So it is fair. And maybe there's some big surprise that they're still saving for the movie. But I was hoping that, like, maybe we get some more Michael Keaton Vulture, which we did get some new shots, but, like, not really anything huge, but depends on how big of a role he even has in the movie. I was hoping for at least seeing Matt Smith's character, uh, who we know is going to be the villain of this movie, in his actual monster form because in the comics that character becomes uh, a villain known as hunger who suffers from a very similar blood disease as dr michael morbius so he also becomes a vampiric character so i would have loved to have seen our first look at that here but hey again maybe they're just saving that for the movie you never know but for now guys let's go ahead and break down this trailer even though there's not really anything hugely new to talk about we'll still talk about it so we start off with Again, something we've already seen before with the, uh, you got Morbius on the ship and he is just taking out all these bad guys. He is in full vampire mode. And I feel like this is him on his way back from the island when he gets his powers, because we know that he gets his powers from, you know, getting infected by the vampire bat on the island. And I'm assuming that probably the rest of his crew that was there with him, they kind of just left him for dead. And somehow now he's ended up on this ship and he went full vampire mode and now is killing all these people. And speaking of that island, here he is. This is where he goes to this island. He's trying to find a cure for this blood disease that he has. Uh, where also we know a big plot point for this movie is that, of course, Dr. Michael Morbius is a doctor and one of his patients is a little girl who suffers from the same blood disease that he does so that's one of the big motivations for this character not only because he wants to cure himself but also because of this little girl so he has gone to this island he like slits his hand so that his blood is exposed and then a vampire bat comes and infects it and turns him into morbius the living vampire and so then he just goes full vampire mode there, gets attacked by the bats and, you know, looking good there with his vampire mode. Actually super comic accurate. You know, it'd be cool if he actually wore an outfit similar to the comics. Although, I mean, seeing him wear an actual like vampire costume with a cape and everything would look pretty ridiculous. But then again, at the same time, I, I wouldn't mind it. Honestly, I'd like that. Uh, we get a great look at Horizon Labs, which is a um big location in marvel comics specifically for spider-man because of course morbius is a spider-man villain slash anti-hero type thing so horizon labs i believe is actually maybe where morbius is working just given how things were cut in the trailer either he's working there at horizon labs or maybe it's just an easter egg i don't know in the last trailer, we actually saw Oscorp, so there's also some connections there. But then we get some great demonstrations of Morbius's uh, powers, so you get some of that in action. This is a really cool shot that it almost does kind of look like he has a cape. And when I first saw this in the trailer, I was like, whoa, is that a comics accurate costume? And, you know, it's quick. It, it might not be. It might just be visual effects that's showing, like, his powers in motion. I'm not really completely sure. Uh, but we do have, of course... Now some investigations here. The police are getting involved because there's a vampire on the loose in New York City and is going around murdering people and sucking people's blood. So this is Morbius pre-vampirism. Uh, as you can see, that rare blood disease is not too kind to him. And then we have a visitation with his old mentor played by Jared Harris. Now, he, I believe, is going to be involved in the flashbacks as well when Morbius was in the orphanage. Here's some great shots of Morbius in action again. And then Morbius meeting Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. the Vulture, from Spider-Man Homecoming. But is it the same character? Is it the same version of the character? Is this movie in the MCU? I don't know. But that's definitely something I'm excited to find out when we watch this movie. There's some more uh, Morbius in action flying there. Um, some more great examples. Now, what Michael Keaton's Vulture says here is pretty interesting, though, because he says something about forget what you used to be. Focus on now what you're meant to be. Now, 
the big theory going around with Michael Keaton being in this movie is that he is here to recruit Morbius for the Sinister Six. A big thing that we know Sony and Marvel is setting up in their Spider-Man universe that has kind of been set up in the MCU Spider-Man movies with Vulture, possibly Shocker, Mysterio, which hopefully and most likely he is not dead, so he'd be coming back for this. And especially given how No Way Home ended, now that Michael Keaton's vulture doesn't know who Spider-Man is, maybe he still has a grudge against him. Maybe he still wants to get revenge on Spider-Man. So maybe he is leading up this operation, or at least in cahoots with somebody else that's leading this operation to form the Sinister Six for these MCU Spider-Man movies. And will we see Morbius as part of that team? I honestly doubt it because, you know, they made that pretty clear that he's going to be more of an anti-hero here. So I don't think he's going to go off and start fighting Spider-Man. Then again, you never know. So I feel like it'll be in this movie, maybe he gets an invitation, but he ultimately declines. So we'll see where that goes. Here's Morbius with his love interest for the film. Uh, Morbius more in action there. Now we have the flashbacks to Michael Morbius in the orphanage, which... I believe he is also joined by a young version of Matt Smith's character, just given the dialogue and the way things are placed here in the trailer. So I believe that possibly they were friends growing up and grew up together in that orphanage. Something went wrong. I'm not sure. I'm assuming the boy on the left is Morbius just because of the dark colored hair. And then the boy on the right is uh, Matt Smith's character. But then again, you have the crutches here, which we know Morbius has. So I'm not really sure. Maybe they both have crutches or both used to have crutches before they became vampires. So we'll see how that goes. But then we have, again, who I believe is Matt Smith's character being kicked on the ground. So maybe Morbius, I mean, Matt Smith's character has some resentment towards Morbius for actually kind of looked like he was the one that was kicking and beating up Matt Smith's character. There's the love interest running again. Here's our first real look at Smith's, at Matt Smith's character in this movie, who again is going to be the villain, and he says something about like, oh, being the bad guy. Here's our police again. Morbius in action as a vampire. Matt Smith's character just teasing him once more. That great shot from the last trailer we got. And then the final shot of the trailer is like, there's a little joke about the Lost Boys or whatever. And it does confirm that at one point, Morbius will be going to prison. Now, is he going to escape? Is he going to be let out? But we we don't know for sure, but we do know that that is going to be how he gets involved with Michael Caden's Vulture. But anyways, guys, that is the official final trailer for Morbius. The film will be releasing only in theaters on April 1st, 2022. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this brand new final trailer for Morbius? Let me know all your thoughts. It theories and predictions in the comments below and thanks so much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep it to date on everything goes on in the marvel life